Did President Trump ever consider canning Dr. Fauci? You're fired. But White House politics shouldn't be a reality show. Every time he goes on television, there's always a bomb. But there's a bigger bomb if you fire him. The phone call of President Trump dissing Dr. Fauci, the nation's top infectious disease expert, leaked a day after Fauci said on 60 Minutes he wasn't surprised Trump got COVID-19, calling a September Rose Garden event a viral super spreader. And Fauci's comments continue. We're really, you know, going through a time that's disturbingly anti-science. The president called Fauci a disaster and some of his fellow scientists idiots, so we posed a question. Can President Trump fire Dr. Fauci? No. Max Dyer is CEO of the Partnership for Public Service and said the president's hands are pretty much tied when it comes to targeting a career public servant like Fauci. He might attempt to fire him, but there are rules that would protect Dr. Fauci from being fired unless there was some misconduct. I don't think he'd win. Dr. Anthony Fauci has led the National Institutes of Allergy and Infectious Diseases since 1984, 36 years. His boss, Dr. Francis Collins, is a political appointee who could be prodded to fire Fauci, but the two are longtime friends. They swear actually an oath to the Constitution, not to the President of the United States. The President still says he likes Fauci, but keeps digging at his long tenure. I don't want to hurt him. He's been there for about 350 years. Fauci, now 79, was raised in Brooklyn and served as captain of his basketball team at the All Scholarship Regis High School. He made the cover of Time magazine this year, and the president noticed some other things. He's a Democrat. Everybody knows that. He's Cuomo's friend. New York's Governor Cuomo was ready with his own diss. Trump is the number one super spreader, not just for the Rose Garden. And so it goes. Dr. Fauci may not be present at White House press briefings anymore, but he's found a way to make his voice heard. And there's not much President Trump can do about that. I'm Mary Murphy, PIX11 News.